It has been so long since we've done an NCIX PC system video, but let me tell you guys, it's been worth the wait because there is so much crazy cool new stuff going on, especially from Intel and Nvidia, and this, the i2 NCIX PC, features all of it. As usual, guys, we're gonna start with the outside. This is a case that I personally really like. This is the Fractal Design Arc MIDI R2. It's got a very high ventilation strategy that they're going for here. So the front is very clean. Two five and a quarter inch bays, and then two 140 millimeter fans on the inside, drawing air through a large front filtered mesh. Up on the top, you've got headphone and microphone ports, a reset switch, a power switch, two USB 3.0 ports, and a built-in fan controller that forgoes any of the fancy sort of dial nonsense and is just a simple three-place switch. So you can run it 12 volts, 7 volts, or 5 volts on the internal fans. You've also got large ventilation holes in the top of the case and a pretty plain sleek overall look. So on the right side panel, it's just a straight black side panel. And on the left side panel, you've got what is sort of more like a performance looking edition finish with a smoked window. There you go. That reveals the cool stuff that you're gonna have inside the i1 system. At the back of the case, I.O. is covered by the ASUS Z87 Sabertooth motherboard that we've got in here. And so that includes not only your usual four USB 3, you got four USB 2, you've also got some ventilation, their BIOS flashback button, as well as the I.O. powered by your GTX 780. See, I'm giving so many hints about what's actually inside the system, but that card supports up to three monitors in surround in 3D with an additional auxiliary display, no problem. And now it's time to open this bad boy up. She's unassuming from the outside. You don't actually really see what's up in terms of the insanity that's going on inside until you pop the side panel. And the first thing we notice is that there is a side panel window. Okay, we probably could have seen, seen that from the outside if we were paying like, you know, really close attention. But check this out. Very, very clean interior layout. Very, very liquid cooled system. This is a 4770K, which is the top of the line Haswell CPU. It's got hyper threading, it's got four cores, it's got eight threads, it's got turbo boost, it's got all the things that you could possibly want except a liquid cooler in the box. But that's okay because the SwiftTech H220 has been added to the i2 by the NCI XPC team, meaning that it is now fully liquid cooled with what we have tested as the best all-in-one liquid cooler on the market. Not only that, but it is expandable. So if you ever felt the need, you could add additional radiators. This case has full support for more rads. You could add them in the back. You could add them in the front. You could also add additional blocks. You could liquid cool your graphics card, for example. Although I don't know if you'll necessarily even want to because that GTX 780 in there looks so fine with its aluminum shrouded cooler. And remember, the GTX 780 has GPU Boost 2.0, which means it can control the temperatures as well as the power and the clock speeds all in a very dynamic, awesome, cool way. And it also comes with the GeForce experience, which means you always have the latest drivers and recommended settings to run your games at, which I can pretty much tell you right now, since this is a GK110 based three gigabyte card is all high. There you go. I just saved you the trouble of getting GeForce experience. No big deal. Uh, for our motherboard, we've got an ASUS Z87 Sabertooth, so you've got their usual dust covers, as well as overclocking optimized features, and you can actually use their integrated AI Suite software in order to do some cool stuff like fan tuning and all that kind of neato, neato software-driven stuff once the system arrives. You've also got network eye control, so you can prioritize certain things in and out of your network interface. It's got an Intel NIC. You've got 16 gigs of G-Skill memory, as well as a Fractal Design 800 watt, 80 plus platinum Newton power supply. This is a semi-modular power supply, and that contributes to the very clean overall look of the inside of the case. You've got a Samsung 256 gig 840 Pro SSD. So, hence the name Pro. It is optimized for professional use as well as consumer use and it will last an incredibly long time even compared to their own 840 and for mass storage you've got a 2TB 
terabyte WD black hard drive. So that's high performance and that's part of where you're getting that extra warranty that comes along with the prestige of a black drive. Last but not least, you've got a BitPhoenix Spectre fan at the back and BitPhoenix Alchemy LED lighting that allows it to glow even through the frosted side panel. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in addition to a stylish, top-performing gaming PC for $2,400, I'm expecting some pretty cool value-add extras. So for one thing, you get this t-shirt. Compromise is for losers. Asus t-shirt, very nice. You also get some games. You get a free copy of Mitra Last Light, you get a free copy of Borderlands 2, and you get $75 of in-game credit for Hawk and Planet Side 2 and World of Tanks. You also get the value of longevity. So the system comes with a one-year warranty from NCIX. There are extended options available if you want the whole system covered, as well as on-site options. So check those out. But the components in here have been selected for the long-term support they get from the manufacturers directly even after NCIX's warranty is up. So for example, the memory has a lifetime warranty, okay? The motherboard, the power supply, as well as the SSD and the hard drive all have five-year warranties. The CPU, the liquid cooler, and the graphics card all have three-year warranties. So that means that if you have some kind of a problem with this system in the longer term, you are pretty much going to be taken care of. And there is another thing I want to address. And that is, why is this system running at stock speed if it's an i2 flagship class system? And the answer is because the platform is just so new. Haswell is a new CPU, and the NCIX PC team, which is the Crazy Russian and B-Flex, didn't feel comfortable pre-overclocking this system until they've had a chance to kind of see how things are going with Haswell in the longer term. With all of that said, stay tuned to this channel for an overclocking guide as well as Haswell tweaking and tuning tips because those are coming and because you've got great components in here including an awesome liquid cooler, a great overclocking board and a K-series unlocked processor, you can actually implement those tips yourself and you can definitely squeeze some more performance out of this rig after it arrives. Thank you for checking out this NCIX PC Systems Edition episode. Don't forget to subscribe to